Maruti is all set to launch their new product, what they like to call a premium crossover, the S-Cross. Well, we have reviewed it before, but now it's here in the version that we're going to see it in the Indian market. Styling, well, not exactly its strength, quite bland actually. It's got this drooping bonnet, but a lot of splashes and dashes of chrome, some interesting elements like the LED lights, lots of black cladding at the bottom to give it a bit of spice because the overall design really looks a generation old and not too exciting. Also, it looks very car-like, very crossover, not SUV-like. The competitors it's going to go up against, like the Duster and the Tirano. But let's take a look inside. Well, on the inside, it's a whole different experience. I must say it has this very premium feel once you get inside. A very typically all black Maruti interior, some nice carbon fiber like looking plastic on the dashboard. You've got the touch screen, you've got the um, controls for the AC. Lots of storage spaces I'm seeing inside this car, so lots of practicality as well. Similar bits, steering of the Swift, the switches on the uh, door windows of the Swift. So lots of familiar bits from the other cars, but it's packed with features. There's a whole big list. Take a look. Well, this is the place that most of the people that buy this car are going to spend their time. And I have to say that Maruti have done a great job. There's loads of space here. In fact, I would even go as far as saying that I think it's class leading. As far as leg room goes, there's nice enough headroom. The bench is nice and wide. There's good enough place for a third passenger, although seat is slightly contoured. Central tunnel is a bit high and this console does intrude into the rear space. But you can still fit a passenger in here. And when you want to store luggage, it's got a good enough boot and the seats have a 60-40 split as well to open up more room. Well, for now, what we do have is a 1.6 and a 1.3 litre diesel engine. There's no petrol and there's no auto available on the S-Cross. This is going to be only a front wheel drive version. The 1.6 litre is mated to a six-speed manual transmission, the 1.3 to a five-speed manual transmission. One has 88 bhp, the other one has 118 bhp. Looking forward to driving these cars. They're going to be out on the road tomorrow with it. So stay tuned for the full review real soon.